not good, not, I know I failed, I know I failed. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals, if you're here for a curly hair video, I know I'm new to a lot of channels because of my new hair journey. I started this journey, literally, I can look, November 17th of this year, obviously. So it hasn't even been a month, okay, but it has felt like a year. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me your questions about my curly girl journey. So I will be answering those at the end of the video. So be sure to wait and your question might be featured. I got interested in going with my natural curls because for one thing, when I was a kid, my hair was super, super naturally curly. My mom has natural curly hair. My aunt has naturally curly hair. We have curly hair all across the board on my mom's side of the family. So of course I was one of them that was born with curly hair and I used to scrunch my hair like with gel and my hair used to be hard curls that never, never looked soft. So when I heard about the curly girl method, I was drawn to it because everyone's curls look so soft. And for me, in my mind, I'm thinking curly hair means hard, crispy hair because that's the day and age that I grew up in. That's what the kind of curls that were popular was just like, I don't know, straw hay hair. And then I would just straighten one strip of bangs. I have always battled with my natural texture because I, I've lived all over the country. My husband and I have moved everywhere from Alaska to Alabama, literally. We've lived in both of those and all in between. So I have experienced a lot of different types of climates. Either it's too dry, it's too humid and whatever. And so I just went mostly with a styled blowout, straighten my hair, curl my hair, all kinds of stuff. Now my hair is extreme, I wouldn't say extremely damaged because I do take really good care of my hair and use good hair products and do coconut oil masks. Like I've always taken really good care of my hair as much as possible, but I have damaged it with color and things like that. This is very tough for me because I'm a girl who loves styling their hair, who loves doing different things, getting different colors. So I knew that this journey would be a little difficult for me because I haven't just been straightening and in uh, blowing out my hair all these years to hide my curls or look like everyone else. It's just because I thoroughly enjoy styling my hair. I love getting new hair products, getting new heat, hot tools, things like that. I am that kind of person. So I don't know, maybe my um, views on this method may help you if you're like me and enjoy styling your hair. Anyway, long story short, my friend Michelle was here back in November and uh, she has naturally curly hair. So I would see her like twirling her hair in the morning and all these years we've never discussed her hair. I've just always thought her hair was super beautiful. She has very beautiful, big ringlet, like curly, beautiful, like curls. So on the very last day that she was here, I had my hair wet and of course my hair is naturally curly. So it was, it looks curly until I blow it out. So my hair was curling up and she was like, oh my gosh, you have really curly hair. And I was like, I know, but it's not like yours. So I can't like wear it all the time. And she was like, well, yeah, you can basically. And she was brushing her hair with this brush. Well, it was the Denman brush. And she was like, you've got to try this after you put your hair products in to uh, enhance your curls. It just kind of distributes the product perfectly, yada, yada, yada. So the next day after she left, I started looking into curly hair tips. And I have heard of the curly girl method before, but I really dug in deep and was reading all these things about how to kind of change your life by like accepting your natural texture and your natural curls. But the more I read, like the more intense these forums and articles and it's, it was like very intimidating to me, but also a really good challenge. As I was reading it, I was realizing, oh, this isn't just like a style to wear. This is like a way of life. Like the curly girl method is a way of life. They don't go back to heat styling. They don't go back to hair color. They don't go back at all. So that was a little overwhelming, but I thought I could give myself, I was like, okay, Mallory, if you can do this for a week, then keep doing it just for the health of your hair sake. And then the next week went by and now we're on the third week and I am 
failing hard. I'm just gonna be real honest. So I'm gonna go through with you guys the steps that I took. This was day one of me trying, this was like the very first day that I had all the right product and I did finger curls. This is what it looked like. Um, and so here we are today. This is now three weeks. Uh, of course, this is almost completely dry, so it does look a little less curly, but I feel like I have what I've read, just kind of like limp noodle curls at this point. So it kind of tells me that my hair is very, very damaged and uh, that's okay. We're, you gotta start somewhere, but um, I wanna go through how I started the method, what made me stop the method, not entirely, but bits and pieces, and then what I'm doing now to get this result because I did cheat a little today. And honestly, I feel like cheating on the method, my hair has responded better. And I'm just scared to say it because a lot of curly girls are intense. I mean, it's the internet, right? There's gonna be hate. I, let me just say this, I have failed, but I wanna say this, the dedication these women have for their hair is incredible. And I wish that I had that kind of dedication. I admire people who stick with it completely. So, um, oh, really quick, I am just assuming everybody knows what the method is. You can definitely read more in depth, but basically the curly girl method is no heat styling whatsoever. Um, no thylates, parabens, or silicones. So a lot of times you'll see products that say silicone free, and then they'll have thylates and parabens or they'll have no silicone, it'll say silicone free and have dilates and parabens, right? Am I saying this correctly? I don't know. Anyway, so basically if products say paraben free and thylate free, but have silicones, like the silicones can build up in your hair and then obviously give you like limp hair. So there's a lot to it. So you have to read ingredients very thoroughly when you're at the store and stuff like that. Uh, so I just kept it very simple for myself and I just bought all of the Diva Curl products um, that I needed to start this journey. I just went in full hard, but I have failed and I ended up using not good products for the method, but we'll get into that. So the very first thing that I do when I get out of the shower and also one of the reasons why I couldn't keep up with this method is, <laughs> this is gonna sound so dumb. So you want to apply all of your hair products with your hair soaking wet because that's how your hair absorbs the hair products uh, more intensely. So that was a really big struggle for me, having soaking wet hair like with a shirt on or even just without a shirt. I don't know, I'm somebody who can't stand if that's another thing that's really killing me is like the way my hair tickles my face and then it was like the soaking wet. So the very first product I put in is the Diva Curl Believe In and it's a curl plumper, texture and volume. Um, it's basically a leave in to add moisture and shine. I do like this, I really do. I thought putting these products in my hair all at once was just gonna super, super weigh it down. I don't have the most voluminous curls right now. Um, I did scrunch the crunch out, which we'll talk about here in a second. So I wasn't expecting to look like really nice in the beginning. And then the next product is the one that I had the sample of before um, is the Diva Curl Wave Maker. It's a touchable texture whip. It does feel like a whip. Um, text, it's for texture and volume, and it says if you want effort, uh, effortless way to get touchable wavy texture that lasts, the answer is yes. Now you can use this for wavy hair, any type of curl that you have in your hair. And then last but not least that I feel like, because I had the Wave Maker uh, came in first before these two products did, uh, I feel like what has really made the difference in my curls is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. Um, it's a no, it says no crunch styler and it's strong hold, define and control. And I really like this gel. Um, everything that I've heard about these products are true. I really do like them. I haven't tried the Weed Ad products or anything like that. Um, a lot of people have suggested that I use those. 
Chewie's bedding down right now. Get comfy. So I feel like if you're looking for a gel in particular, definitely pick this one up. I, it just, it's made all the difference in the world for me. And after that, I will take my Denman brush and then I will just go through my hair and I don't know why, but that part of it makes me very nervous when I'm brushing my hair and I see it like get very straight. I'm like, Ugh! And the Denman brush is really great um, for detangling and it doesn't like rip your hair out. I really love the Denman brush. Like it's worth the hype to me. Um, I got mine at Sally's. I think it was like $12. But here's the thing. I also watched some videos like of the people that have done the curly girl method for a long time and a lot of them said never brush your hair when it's wet like only do it before you get in the shower i can't do that i have got to brush my hair when it's wet or i will cry like my hair's so fine and tangly and probably from the bleach and the damage that i have done over the years which is fine everybody does don't feel ashamed just listen okay i'm just now this is just this is what it is. I have to brush my hair when it's wet, so I hope that's not making too many people cringe, but this is just what I've done that has worked for me. So up until this point, I'm pretty much golden. I forgot to say what I wash my hair with. It is um, a shampoo and conditioner, thiolate, paraben, and silicone free, and um, I would, just to wash my hair, I would pump conditioner into the shampoo, and I forget what that's, a co-wash is what it's called. And I did enjoy that uh, for a little bit. But now at this point, like I can't do that. When it's wet and it looks good, but in and it looks nice and curly, but then when it dries down, it just, ugh, I don't know. I just, I, I can't, I can't do that part. And I ended up breaking that little, oh, what was the other brand? Cantu, I think is the other one that I tried. I hated it hated it. So I'm already back to my regular shampoo and conditioner. Today I uh, used the Bumble and Bumble thickening shampoo. I find that that has really helped in this process. I think I broke this week. Was it this week that I started doing that? I think so. And my hair just looks so much better and I'm pretty sure it has all the no-nos in it. So moving on, now that you know that I've failed in the hair washing department, I have not failed with drying my hair. So you really only wanna dry your hair with a cotton t-shirt or a microfiber towel. I use my Turby Twist. Um, sometimes I'll do the plopping, uh, but I have found for with plopping, if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's a long explanation and this is, video is gonna be way too long, but when I did plopping, I found that it didn't work as well for me than it did for other people because my hair is just too fine and I feel like it's not long enough to plop. So it just ended up like in one big like bend. Do you know what I mean? It ended up in a bend. So I don't plop. Maybe when my hair gets longer, I will go back and try it. So the biggest tip that I can give you, and if you've already seen these types of hair videos or you've already done this journey and you're here to tell me you're, you failed, you don't have to. Like, I know that, I know I'm not, not good, not, I know I failed, I know I failed. Once your hair is dried, you scrunch the crunch out. So your hair will, all the products will form a cast and once it has it, you know, your hair feels hard and crunchy and kind of like what I would consider back in, you know, 1998 to 2004, a success, but there's another step. Go ahead and go in and, and scrunch your hair, do that motion all over and it breaks that cast and it leaves you with soft, touchable hair. So um, here's the th another area that I failed, you guys. I hate getting ready, walking around my house before I leave the house with soaking wet hair and I don't like going out with soaking wet hair. So it was very difficult for me to not take my diffuser to my hair. I did it. I did it. I. I, I did it, I did it even today. I have to, I have to. And here's the thing, my, uh, you know, I've seen other people on this journey do it too, so I'm not the only one. So now I wanna tell you the products that have helped me with, um, I do have fine hair, it's fairly thin too, and um, it scared me. One of you guys said, that your hair started falling out once you tried the curly girl journey and I'm thinking maybe it's because 
we brush our hair less with the curls. I don't know, but that freaked me out because I've already dealt with hair loss with my low dose chemo that I'm on. So I don't wanna lose any more hair. I haven't noticed that. If that's a thing, please leave it in the comments below. I, oh, I threw it. The Aveda Thickening Tonic. Now I actually had this before I saw, uh, what is her name? But she suggested the Aveda Thickening Tonic and I was like, oh my gosh, I already had that. So it does smell like an Aveda product, very kind of lemongrass, natural food store smell. I like that smell. A good choice if you wanna stick with the type of products you're supposed to use. An alternative, if you wanna cheat on the method like I did. Bumble and Bumble Thickening Go Big Treatment. It basically does the same thing. Moisturizes, thickens, and expands each strand, strand for hair that stays up all day. Uh, it has umbilica technology. Umbilical cords. Anyway, you shake it well, and then you spray it throughout your hair. It plumps up your hair all day, um, and it's not like a hairspray or a texturizing spray, so it's not gonna leave your hair hard or anything. It's just a treatment, but it does work. That's another thing, guys. I love my hair products. I love my Bumble and Bumble. I have loved Bumble and Bumble for years and it's been so hard just looking at all the hair products I've purchased and just under my sink and in the closet of my bathroom because I own so many hair products because I just love hair products. If you wanna break the rules a little and you need a leave-in type of treatment and you wanna leave your hair wet, I highly suggest the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair styler, I'm actually almost out of this. Um, I bought this, I think it was this summer because I wanted to wear my hair more natural because it's so humid here. So it makes it hard for me to wear um, certain styles in my hair during the summer. So I got this this summer and it has lasted me a long time. Yeah, work evenly into towel dried hair, scrunch or twist and go. Uh, unlike a lot of leave-in treatments, this one right here will not leave your hair stiff in any way. It just kind of already dries like this. So you don't need to scrunch the crunch or anything like that. So I highly suggest trying this if you're a rule breaker. It's hard for me to give up my wave sprays. I've got my two favorites here um, and I'll, I'll explain why. The way Wave spray. I have talked about this several times on my channel. I used it today and I used it like a few days ago and it just really helps. I know that this is, it breaks the rules. What is it not? It doesn't have parabens, but it has the other things that you're not supposed to use. I will spray it in my hands and not necessarily directly on my hair and go through my ends, especially because they want to kind of straighten out because of the damage. So I will go in and kind of, you know, bend them and just make them curl a little more. And then I also love the Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion because this is like their surf spray, but without that kind of grit feeling. It has a shine and oil in it, I think, because you gave up and you failed. So we're gonna do this to you now. That's what this is. You failed the curly girls everywhere all around the world. So here I am, just here to remind you of all of your failures. So there's that. I love finger coiling and I also learned it um, from the channel that, what is her name? I could just look it up, huh? Okay, her channel is Joy Before Her. I learned the finger coiling from her. I watched Michelle do it, but I didn't know what she was doing. And Michelle was like, oh, I'm finger coiling. Um, she texted me because I was like, what? What am I doing? Um, but Joy before her really taught me how to just kind of get the hang of it. And you can see me doing that here. Uh, forgot to put that in to talk about that earlier, but it does help, especially with the top layer of my hair. That's the one that tends to be straight because it, I have the top layers shorter. So it gets the most kind of heat to it. So it is a little bit more damaged. So I will finger coil there. Uh, the underneath sometimes I didn't do that today. So sleeping in the, in the satin bonnet, like it just always comes off. I, and also too, I, I get night fevers from my wonderful autoimmune issue. And so it just isn't, doesn't work. So I will do the, like the bun thing. Um, I'm at that stage where I have to like revive my hair in the morning because it just kind of looks like this with like a bend and not like a cute bend. So what I do to revive my hair is I will uh, go through and um, I'll take water on my hands and scrunch it through and that helps. I've seen people use spray bottles with water, um, but I like to get in there and get it and I, so I will just wet it 
you know, sometimes you can even just get in the shower and re-wet it and condition it and then come out and do all the steps again and that helps too. I am proud of myself because other than using the diffuser on with my blow dryer um, a few times, I have not heat styled my hair yet and I'm going crazy and I'm gonna tell you this right now. I have decided after trying this that I am just someone that enjoys the process of styling their hair different ways so I'm gonna be styling it. I am gonna go back to heat styling my hair, but here's the thing guys, like I am so appreciative of everyone who has shared their tips and all of the people that have, you know, taken the time to upload their Curly Girl Method videos because I have now found a new love for my natural texture. So I will still mostly be doing my natural texture because I love it and I love having curly bangs, especially like, going across. Like, I love the way my hair looks and it's just revived that in me. So I'm very thankful for that process. I love you curls, but I also love my curling iron and my blow dryer and my certain brushes and my straightener and all of those things. Now that you know why I failed and the things that I tripped up on, let's get into your questions because I think this video has already been like an hour. So Debs123, asked how to deal with frizz and my memory card got full like i've been talking that much i've literally been filming this video all day you guys how to deal with frizz and disorganized curl patterns with no heat tools i literally don't know i have <laughs> amazingly unorganized just different curl patterns going on in my hair at this point um, because a lot of it is responding nicely and then a lot of it like underneath that would normally be really curly is kind of falling flat. So I don't really know, but as far as frizz, um, a nice oil and these Diva Curl, as I have frizz, um, they help, but here's the thing. If you live in a humid climate, you're gonna have frizz. A.T. Goman? She's the one who asked, did you notice a lot of hair loss because she had hair loss and I was like, oh my God, I don't know, not yet. And I hope I never do. That was so scary. I already talked about the material and the towel. So microfiber or cotton t-shirt. Bryn Gordon asks, how often do you wash? So I have been washing my hair every two to three days. Okay, so this is a really good question. Ash D. Crew, how do you handle your bangs with curly hair? So that's a good question because I, the reason that I cut my own bangs is because I was going through Pinterest looking at curly hairstyles and then I started noticing curly bangs and I was like, ooh, I like that. This would have been my fourth grade nightmare though because my bangs had to be like perfectly blown out and all this stuff. I've been obsessed with my hair. I blame my mother because she was a hairstylist, um, but I really like, the waviness, like, isn't that cute? Even though I didn't really style them this way, I feel like this is super, super cute. Roshka Moya. Uh, tips after you style, do you brush them out before showering? I, oh, that, I forgot to mention that. I do brush my hair before and after uh, because I have found that I get very matted around the nape of my neck with the curly hair and I'm like, what? is this she says i love my curls and my hair is much healthier when i don't heat style but then i tend to lose more hair in the shower when i brush slash comb them out with conditioner i really i don't know if that's i don't know are people losing their hair because when you guys when i asked you to ask whatever you wanted to ask that was a lot of them like a lot of you were saying that you've lost hair and i haven't heard that yet but like i said that's terrifying i'm hoping it's because when you wear your hair curly you're not necessarily brushing it as much um so you don't so you're not losing your hair um consistently it all kind of comes out when you do wash and comb through she also asks mousse versus gel and cream versus a pomade i don't necessarily like mousse for my hair it's just because it's so thin and it tends to kind of separate my curls in a way that i do not like so i definitely really like the diva curl gel um and cream versus a pomade i love both i like pomade way has a really good uh, hair pomade that i like to use in my ends i didn't use it today um because i tried not to cheat too much but uh I, they have a really good pomade so i will mostly do pomade in 
uh, the bottom half of my hair because if I do the top, it tends to weigh it down because I've got three hairs on my head. That's it really. I feel like I covered a lot of the questions you guys asked throughout the video and then the ones that I didn't, I just answered. Oh, one just came in. How you pay the world? I think that's how you say her handle. Um, how long did it take you to get where you are now with your hair? So three weeks. And honestly, I don't feel like I've seen much of a change. Now I know this week I did cheat, but my hair, this is just kind of what it looks like normally. I haven't noticed like an extreme change um, yet. But like I said, this is the first, very first day slash night that I did it. Um, so it looks just about the same. So that's how long, three weeks or so, but it's been, it's been long enough, I'll tell you that. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope that this was informative and helpful in any type of way. Most of all, I just wanna tell you guys, if you fail at this, do not feel bad. Yes, there are amazingly dedicated people out there to their curly hair, and I just, round of applause, that's amazing. It's not for me. I wanted it to be, but I just, like I said, I enjoy styling my hair too much. And so if you're like that, that's okay. Also, if you are wondering what type of curls you have, I will leave a link to the chart below. I don't even know. I feel like it's a ton of different. And at this point, like some days my hair's super curly, curly, um, like ringlet curly, but small. I like to call it just like ugly perm is almost washed out curls. Uh, but it's like really tight, small curls. And then on days like uh, other days, it looks like this. So I don't really freaking know. It's a very overwhelming process. So, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Find what works for your hair and just enjoy it. Hair is one of those things. It can be fun. You can change it. It can grow. Um, so just enjoy your hair. Don't be too hard on yourself. And I'm sorry that I have let down the curly girl method community. Follow me on Instagram at Mallory, double underscore Cornellison. I will be sharing more about my curly hair stuff there as well. And then you can follow me on Twitter at Mallory1712. Love you, Malpals, so much. And all the new Malpals uh, from the curly hair community. I hope you're not too disappointed in me. Uh, I will be doing more videos. If you would like any other type of hair videos, leave those in the comments below as well. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye curly, straight, wavy, any type of hair that you have, beautiful people, I will see you then.